to talk to you about another book I just finished reading. It is called Ways to Make Sunshine by, by Renee Watson. So you may recognize her name. Renee writes books usually for young adults, um, so an older group. But this is a middle grade book. Um, and it came on my radar because it is going to be on the Texas Blue Bonnet list for 21-22. So if you are a librarian in Texas and you serve students in third to sixth grade, this is definitely a book you want to add to your list. So this book has a number of references um, in the summary and in the back um, about being like another version or a modern day version of Ramona, Ramona Quimby. And so you, know, you guys may remember that character. Um, she was a Beverly Cleary character that first showed up in I think the 1950s um, in a Henry Higgins book. I have to admit I've never read any of those books. Um, but if this is a modern day version. I like it regardless of what the original is kind of like. So we have this little girl, her name is Ryan. She's in the fourth grade. She lives in Portland, Oregon. She lives in a family with her parents and her older brother, Ray. And there are these, it, it's just a regular little story of what it's like to be in the fourth grade. You know, she's got issues with her friends. She's st has stage fright at church when she has to stand up and say something. Um, her, she kind of, argues with her brother. Her mom gets tired of that. Her parents are, you know, are goofy and embarrassing, but also very lovable. And she, um, you know, misses things as she's getting to change and grow. And so we're going to add in a little bit of complication at the beginning of the story because she's having to move. The landlord from the house that they live in has um, sold the house. And so they're having to move. Her dad has been out of work for six months because he got laid off and he's just found a new job. So there's all these little bits of her life that are changing. Um, and you see her anxiety and uncomfortableness with that. But you get to meet all these wonderful characters. And throughout the story, there's very much these really wonderful nuggets of truth. Um, part of what makes the story unique and wonderful is that she did, she's a black girl. She has her best friend is black. And her other best friend is biracial. So they really kind of touch on different pieces that will, um, that wouldn't have been in, in a, an original Ramona story from the 50s, right? So she talks about her natural hair versus her pressed hair. There's a situation where her grandmother comes and fixes her hair for Easter service. And she said, I like my hair straight. That's my, I feel beautiful this way. And that's an opportunity for grandma to say, hey, you're beautiful because of the way you treat people. It doesn't have anything to do with the outside. Um, there's another little nugget where her brother is walking her and her friend home from school. And her brother is walking closest to the curb, which is what her his dad taught him how to do. Well, that's a great little nugget of chivalry. You know, the man puts himself in between danger and the female. Um, so there's all these sweet little nuggets of of good advice throughout, peppered throughout the story. And she learns a lot about herself. She learns a lot about um, the people around her and her family and who's there for her. And we know based on reading the introduction that this is going to be the beginning of a series and the cliffhanger at the end sees a lot of change coming in her life and in her family. And so we really get set up for what will become the next book whenever that one's out. But I highly recommend this book. It's just a great realistic story. Um, it, it's just kind of like what what's life like for a fourth grade student. And uh, I think a lot of my third and fourth grade students will really relate to this. Um, as you can see, I checked it out from my public library um, because we aren't back at school yet. But it is a book that should be delivered to my library soon um, so my students can also enjoy it. All right. Read this book. Happy reading.